Hi guys, welcome back to another iPhone tutorial. This one's going to be a bit different. This one's going to do with the actual style and skinning the app so it looks pretty for all your lovely downloaders to use. It's not something I really focus on a lot because I prefer to believe that the UI is a very, very, very last thing you do. You put a simple face on it and then do all the background work and then you start doing all the pretty stuff. But if you followed all my previous tutorials, you have all the know-how to make the application, fair table views, mess around with views, push, retrieve, send, set up, all the fun stuff. So now I decided to do a bit of a skinning one, um, styling one, even skin style, whatever you want to call it. Now, the last jump from um, the SCO versions in iOS has changed a lot of the way you do this. Before you'd use custom draw recs invitations to put a, a custom navigation bar or toolbar in. It's kind of changed now. iOS 5 has brought in some quote, quote unquote easier methods doing it. It is kind of easy but you know it's good to get your head around. I'm going to show you how to do it now. I've started already by making a um, empty application. A few little things here. Made a tab bar controller you know empty in here. It's called homework. It's going to look. It's going to look like the um, the notes application on iPhones a standard. It looks similar. It won't look the same. It's a very quick job we did. It just make it look pretty. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn something as boring and bland as this to something really cool in a few minutes. Before I start that, as because most of my viewers are American, they'll be most aware of that you know of course they will that recently the US started bringing in the SOAP and PIP Act. These were kind of hammered to bits, um, but. They're trying to bring a similar one in Iran now, which they claim is very different than the American one, but in fact it's the exact same, with the exact same ramifications. So if this passes, basically there's a good chance that I'll be blocked from YouTube with my ISP. Um, so imagine that, you know, because they claim copyright, thousands of people are, you know, they can't view videos, they can't do what they want on the internet because people claim they're losing money, blah, 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 people are greedy, etc. So if this happens in your own country, you know, write letters, emails, protest this to bits, don't let the internet be regulated by government. It doesn't belong to them. It belongs to everyone. So that being said, let's get on with the application. Before, um, so what did I do with this application? I went in and I programmatically made a tab bar controller. I despise the storyboard. I know people ask me to use it more, but it's a terrible way to learn. The storyboard nibs take all the control out of your hands. If an error happens in there somewhere, it won't tell you where the error is. So it's a very bad way to learn. I know you're saying, oh, I'm new to the coding. It's difficult to learn. It's the nibs and story coder much easier. I agree. It is easier in a certain way, but you have to learn at some point the nuts and bolts of the code. If you learn programmatically using the nibs and storyboard, is extremely easy because you know what's going to happen. Um, if an error happens, you can go, oh wait, the data source wasn't set, delegate wasn't set properly, of course it's going to fail. So that's why I advise learning this way. So as you can see here, I instantiated the view controllers. Um, I made a dummy detail, detail view controller. There's nothing in it, it's just an empty view controller. Um, this instantiate the tab bar controller. You put the all the navigation controllers into an array because each one needs a navigation controller to work off. Well, it doesn't need it, but it's best to have. Then you make the view controllers, which is a inbuilt um, array, equal to this array, and then set your view view controller to the tab controller. Very simple, and the result is cap closed it. But you saw my starter what it looks like. So now we're going to make it look really pretty very quickly. The images I got went onto Google. Just Google a few images, cut them up using Paint, an inbuilt an inbuilt application with your Mac or iMac. Very simple, took a few minutes to style up. So now we are going to start making this look cool. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna make the GUI. So void make GUI. And then anywhere down here, just I prefer to do it after the views are all loaded. Um self make GUI. Okay. So now we have to set our different parts to the images. Very simple. With the new bits and bobs provided by OS5. So UI image. It's called it a nav image equals UI image. I'll keep doing that. UI image image named uh, leather two dot png. Not very interesting names, but who cares? Now we have to do something else because of the new Apple sorry, Xcode stuff. Resizable inset, um, UI edge inset, float zero zero zero. 
see, we're not actually drawing this ourselves. Well, we are. We're telling it it has a border. But we haven't. We're not going to tell what the border is. We're going to let the navigation bar do it for us. How are you going to do that? Very simple. UI navigation bar. Appearance. This is a new thing brought in. Uh, set background image. Very good. Um, nav image for bar metrics. Uh, UI I uh, bar metric defaults. Very good. Now, why is that last bit in? You can guess why this is. This is the this is navigation bar object built in. It knows we have a navigation bar um, in the application, and it's going to set the image to this. So this is going to draw the image inside to its own bounds with this. Very simple. Now, this last bit here, I should have two images. Okay, but if you look at the very start, you'll see I turned off landscape okay but if you have it enabled you need a second image to work landscape and then you have a second one like this for for the landscape from metrics default to metrics landscape I think it's called but I am lazy and I'm not gonna do it so now that's the image done so they have to do the title text okay we're same thing here we're not gonna draw it here we're just gonna instantiate it so we can so whenever we set it in our view controller it'll be drawn using these properties. So, or anywhere for that fact, this is going to be a universal object. UI navigation bar appearance, same thing again. Set title text attributes, very good. So this is a dictionary for all the um, titles in our navigation bars. As I said, this is the properties, not the actual text itself. So a few things are going to go in here. So, first of all, NS dictionary, dictionary with objects and keys, very good. Now, we're going to have two things in here. Don't forget, well, two of two, because it's objects, dictionary, object, and key. So, UI color, white color, then after the comma, uh, it is called UI text, attributes, text color. Perfect. Very good. Next one is UI font font with name. Now there's loads of fonts you can use okay but funny enough I found a lot of fonts don't work. Maybe I'm spelling them wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But for whatever reason I tried a few fonts but they don't work for whatever reason. But one that does work is Arial Bold. Okay so it definitely does work. And as I said we're not actually drawing these ourselves we're just specifying that it's going to be there. So there you go you've set the text to be white and I feel I forgot something there because it's not letting me yeah I forgot something a comma I believe do 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 oops I forgot the actual um I forgot the actual key for it. My bad. UI text attribute font. Text attribute. There we go. Comma build. Just to check the errors. And I forgot another. There we go. Whenever it jumps back in here, you know you've messed up, especially when it doesn't highlight. That's a nice little way of telling you you made a mistake. Okay, so now it's actually build and run. Why not? We'll see what this looks like. Leather 2, L-E-A-T-H-E-R. Whoa, look at that. There we go. We've actually drawn a little image into this navigation bar. As you can see, it persists across all of our view controllers. Don't forget these are three different navigation controllers and three different view controllers, well, two view controllers, but they can be three if you want. So it's persistent across them all. So bear that in mind. Jesus, this is going to take too, I'm talking too bloody much. Okay, uh, very quickly, we're going to do the, we're going to do the, actually, probably get it done in one, do the, the, the tidy up after. Okay, yes, yeah, so now we're going to do the navigation bar, sorry, not navigation bar, the toolbar, UI image, um, tool image equals, so very similar to you, UI image, image named, So 
sorry folks, someone actually walked in there trying to talk to me. Um, bottom of the PNG, uh, resizable, do voyage, zero, 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 zero. Excellent. Now, UI tab bar appearance. Don't forget, this was navigation bar appearance. This is tab bar appearance. Set background image, tool image, done. How easy is that? Build. How cool is that? Look how easy that was. A few lines of code, and look at that. Let's make it really pop out. Into our main view controller. It's called view controller. Now here, very simple. Self dot self dot view uh, set background color UI color. If you ever seen this before. There is no set background image, okay? But there is a little add-on you can do. Color with color with pattern image. There we go. UI image image named yellow dot jpeg. Missed one. I think that's it. One, two, three. Yep. Boom. How about that? See how easy that was. Not even like 20 lines of code, and you've turned a boring, plain application into what it looks like a bit of style. Now, before you ask, oh, how do you make these into a um, tail view? This is just blah blah. This is just stationary. Now, it's very easy to figure out how to make these cells customize. I've done something similar in my core graphics one. Just make the background yellow, make the edge blue, and you've got your own notepad application. Very simple. Now, there's a little tip and trick I want to show you how to make this even better and a bit more dynamic. So I'm going to pause the video. There's someone I've talked to here. Someone walked in there and I told them to shush. I should probably go apologize about that. Um, so hold on two seconds. I'm going to pause this, put a bit of code, make it a bit more pop worthy, but it's a little trick to do when you load an application to make it look really cool. So back to you in two seconds and you'll see the finish of this. Alright folks, back in one sec. Okay guys, I've made a few small changes. Um, as I said before, I should never show an empty screen, even once loading, just something to keep the user um, know something's going on. So what I've done is I've imported the app delegate, I've made a single accessor, a UI to the indicator view, uh, a temporary background view and a text field is called mess okay so what's going to happen if you wonder why you use the um, the singleton it's because when you build the application the view hierarchy is based on the window so the window is like the, the, the parent so if you put something on the view which isn't in the right hierarchy it can kind of get messed up but the app that window is a dangerous thing to mess with if you don't know your hierarchy I just did it here for second convenience so be very careful using app.window add sub view with anything because if I said if your hierarchy is not um, properly aligned you will have major problems okay so I just made the text fields and um, as a view I made a temporary view uh, black with alpha so it's going to be see-through out of the window, then I add the activity indicator to the, uh, to the screen. Okay, so that's gonna, the screen's gonna be kind of black today for three seconds. That's what this, thing's, this one's doing for three seconds, and then it's gonna call remove view. It's gonna, st gonna stop the indicator moving, remove it, remove the view, and then set the text field to a hard coded variable. Just give the impression it's actually loading some of the details, so it gives it a bit more, makes it pop a bit better. You'll see now. See, it's loading, loading, loading. And loading the variable. Okay, as I said, this isn't a um, table view controller. It's just a hard. It's just a, an image. So if it was table view, you'd obviously do something different there. But this gives you an idea of like you know what it looks like and how you can make 
application you know really stand out and like that's only 15 minutes of work and you can see how much cooler it looks if you go back in the video to the very right start you can see how boring it looked and now it's pretty cool i think all right folks hope you enjoyed this as i said this source code's gonna be online as well have a go mess around with it and you know make your application look as good as they can all right folks see you soon bye